Hey, what's going on? This is your boy Sintel with the Intel, and we are getting ready to watch episode nine. Yo, we are in the home stretch of the live action Cowboy Bebop that is on Netflix. If you haven't seen one through eight with us, please make sure you check it out. There should be some links in the description. Now we're gonna go about this a little bit differently because we'll only be able to see this picture in picture for about eight second chunks. The image may be reversed and there may be a little bit of translucent. This is so that we can respect the copyright violations regarding this. If you wanna see the full thing, yo, you gotta make sure you check it out on Netflix. If you wanna make sure to check out the final one with this, click that subscription button and also the bell icon. That's how you'll get up to date notifications anytime we drop something new. And of course, give us those thumbs up. That's how YouTube knows that you're feeling what we're giving to you. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy started with episode nine of Cowboy Bebop. Oh, glistening. Where does this dude? This is his own one. It's nice to see him. Let me get this straight. You let a woman shave your balls with a straight razor. <laughs> I was gonna let a man do it. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> I prefer a more natural system. It's just uncivilized. <laughs> At the very least, you could braid it. <laughs> Not long enough. Just <laughs> <laughs> on the way. Judge Bradley agreed to sign the warrants. Yeah, it's actually happening. Don't. Uh oh. Come back. Huh. Brenda, you didn't see anything here. That's one way to get a chance to introduce their relationship. <laughs> Talk about shaved balls. You take care of our little problem at the courthouse. Can you believe it? Turns out the judge never got the paperwork from the DA. I like the live music. If something that important, you'd follow through. I'm yes, sir. Sit down, wise guys. You're making people Dang, that dude looks intense. Yes, sir. Yo, I'm feeling this dude's intensity. Yes, it's all our heads. I'll take care of him. They dance again. I keep telling you. This is one of the first uh, episodes that didn't come across as kind of hokey starting off. <laughs> Gotta run. Have fun. Oh, it's okay. You're gonna be okay now that you... Well, come on, girl. Let's see what the hype is about. Look. He's like, I got to have her. And this is what's going to separate brothers. Some voice. Some Look at man. that intensity. She got them both. Julia came out there. She was like, yo, pay attention. I'm more than just these pretty lips. Quite the picnic. Well, I'm not a blanket on the ground kind of guy. <laughs> well, we know that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Who do you think's in it? Vicious or Spike? Blue Crow Waltz. All right. Wait. So she picked Vicious first. <laughs> Serious. Damn. Congratulations. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought you really fired me. Be clear, I'm the dancing. Jupiter Jig. You have feet, you can dance. I do have feet. <laughs> Vicious doesn't strike me as a dancer. Right. Okay. But Spike does. Is he okay? Wanna get out of here? Yeah. Get your Jupiter I'm boogie on. Or he'll be much happier. <laughs> He's got no arms. No. Easy, <laughs> easy to partner. <laughs> There's the photo. Oh man, that's your homeboy's girl, man. That's a violation. Yo, Spike was wrong. Spike was wrong, wrong, wrong. That dude is sick. But this is wrong. <laughs> Something to be afraid of. You, know, you just gonna sit there and just chill in the bed? Just chilling? And right now. Like, wow. The audacity. Oh. Were you with him? Really? Wow. 
goodness. Whoa, man, it's a whole room full of them. Okay. Run. Well, I'll be damned. Yo, I mean, he's getting it in. I'll make sure he never finds us. Oh, he does body her. Wow. He breaks his code. Who thought it possible? Meanwhile, some Jack Daniels. Good to see they're still in business. Oh, pops. By some miracle. <laughs> yes. Wild cat. Dang. And you got backhanded by your daddy. Yo, my man in the red suit got the grin on his face. <laughs> Looked at him like sucker. <laughs> and your daddy slapped you. Yeah, man. Yo, vicious. I mean, fearless even took your dignity, fam. He took your shine. Are dangerous tonight. He wants Dang, to that's one way to do it. Just leave that here. Whoa! It's 15 hours in the day. <laughs> I never noticed that. <laughs> you try to feign stupid. Not ever. Come on now. She chose me. Dang. Right, hey, bruh. We gotta have a talk. You took my shine. My girl. My loyalty. Golly. Yeah. See. That's how you do an episode. That's how this series should have been with that tone and that feel, that level of combat, that level of intensity, that level of, of, of acting, that level of storytelling. Why couldn't the previous eight episodes been like that? Why would you make us wait until then? <sighs> oh, that's, that's, oh, it's so good that it's disappointing because you think about what could have been had they put that same type of energy. Now, granted, I know what you're thinking, I know what you're saying, you're like, yo, but the animated series wasn't like all the way 100% serious, and you're right. But it's the effort to, re to, to maintain being entertaining that seems to be lost on some of the other episodes instead of just solely leaning on just straight up nostalgia, which is pretty much the only thing really supporting this series is just the nostalgic factor of it. The storytelling has just been lacking, and that right there was good storytelling. Oh, man. <laughs> if if this does get renewed for, for a second season, and I'm not sure if it does or if it has or it hasn't, um, whoever it was that set this up, the showrunner who had the writing and the directing up for this, they need to maintain that level of quality. Because if not, and if this is the last season, it would be a shame for the previous episodes to be the the, the legacy of the of the live action series, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know if it can get better than that. I haven't seen episode 10 yet. But fortunately, you're gonna be hanging out with us so that you can see episode 10 along with us. Oh, I mean, everything from the way that it started, I believe, to the Brotherhood. Uh, you know, they're joking around in the middle of waiting for a hit. Um, <laughs> talking about shaving balls and all of that other stuff. But it's not so much the shock factor of, of that. It's just the camaraderie that they have. Like, you believe that they're really good friends. So much so that you don't really realize how vicious vicious is until he starts knifing people into the stomach. And you're like, oh, that is the difference. That's why... Uh, people fear him and why he's completely unstable. The 
the capo with the scar on his face. Uh, what a what a great ad! Like every time he gets on camera, it just brings a presence. You believe him. You believe that he's in a very difficult decision trying to to raise the son of one of the leaders of of this group, and he's not necessarily worthy because he's crazy. So good. Um, the the fact that uh, the fact that Fearless has great relationships with everybody, like we even see in this interaction right here. Then she mentions like your table is typically the one that gets like the most action. Like everybody, everybody loves Fearless. Fearless gets the job done. He has his voice back. But then comes the one thing that messes everything up, and that's Julie. And it's a good mess up because, I mean, she does a really good job of of being brought to the scene. It this scene was so it went above my my expectations because. That voice did work. The song was hot. Everybody was was enchanted. But here's the thing, though. <laughs> I like I like Spike as much as the next person. But he was wrong. Whether he fell in love and had that moment at the bar when they were honky tonk dancing or not, yo, that's your man. That's, that's your dope. You supposed to? There, there's a code. There's a bro code, and you broke that. The other stuff, like him stealing him stealing Vicious's sign by absolutely deading the entire um, other organization single-handedly. Uh, I mean, that's just what it is. But this, staying with your girl, that's just a huge vibe violation. And, I, and I'm, not, I'm not mad at Vicious for being upset with that. Um, there's a really poignant moment. Uh, and that's when Vicious is telling I wasn't sure how they were going to go about with the Fallen Rose because um, it, it is a, a pivotal moment in the anime when he like when he gets thrown out of the out of the church and he's falling and they're playing the song and the rose is falling. This was this was this was good. You know, I'll, I'll take it. The last stand, the last time we'll ever be brothers. <laughs> and then he also gets Vicious also gets a taste of just how dope his brother really is because he's outgunned everybody their guns are out my man is just sitting here with a damn rose in his hand and he bodies all the bodyguards and still manages to you know float away yeah this was chef's kiss for the series I'm hoping episode uh, 10 holds up it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to beat that. That was that was just really good. Hey, so make sure that you get a chance to hang out and watch episode ten with me. You can do that by clicking the bell icon. Of course, you know hit that subscribe button so you can be up to date. This is your boy Sintel with the Intel, and I'm looking forward to closing this out. I'll catch you then. Bye.